This is the Camlink 4K capture card, and this is a generic capture card. This one costs $99. This one costs $16. So the question is, is this one worth the money or can this one do the job? Let's find out. So both these cards do the same thing. They take a signal from your mirrorless camera or DSLR and adjust it to work with your computer. So you can use your high-end camera as a webcam. Now the Camlink has a USB 3.0. The generic has a USB 2.0. The Camlink can push out 1080p 60 frames per second or 4K at 30 frames per second, and the generic can push out 1080p at 30 frames per second. So enough about the specs, let's uh, plug these in and see how they do side by side. This is the generic capture card plugged into my Sony ZV-1 and being recorded in OBS in 1080p. Notice the color. I'll do some motion so you can notice the frames per second and just notice the overall quality. It's really not bad. Now this is the Camlink 4K plugged into my Sony ZV-1 and being recorded in OBS. Notice the color, the motion, you know, frames per second and overall quality. Really good. So as you notice, the Camlink 4K does a little better with the color, sharpness, and motion. And the generic is a little heavily saturated and the motion is not great. But for the price, $99, $16, I honestly would go for the generic because it can do the job pretty much. Now, if you're a game streamer or if you're just making some videos to upload to YouTube, yes, I understand that this isn't the best quality, but for game streaming, your picture is usually pretty small. And for uploading videos, you can just tweak the settings in OBS using their camera filters. Now, the Cam Link, yes, it's $99, but you also get more with that price tag. You get Cam Link software. You get the fact that this is built really rugged and it obviously works a bit better. But for 16 bucks, 99 bucks, I just don't see the Cam Link winning this one. And I'll tell you why. I feel like you can take a bunch of these and attach this to laptops that you carry with you or you know your your base stations that you have at your home and not have to worry about it. Where this one, since it's so, I guess, expensive, you would have to really bring the same one with you. So for that price, I can buy two or three and just have one in my bag, keep one here and bring with me. For 99 bucks, I'm going to have to keep this with me and I'm going to have to make sure I know where it is. Now, that's not to say there isn't a space for the Cam Link if I'm doing professional work, like a professional live stream, or I want to record something that looks as best as it can be, I'll probably use the cam link. I'm not going to lie in that sense. But if I'm just doing some average stuff, like I said, streaming and doing videos and stuff that's not really like make or break, the generic capture card works fine. It actually works better than fine. I've been using it over the cam link 4K because I just feel that if I lose it or break it, it's not the end of the world. If I lose it, I break it. It's a hundred bucks. So tell me what you think. Can you notice a huge difference? Could you notice a difference that's worth more money? That's gonna be a tough question to answer, but I wanna hear what you have to say. So let me know in the comments below. I'm Ken the Content Coach. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course hit the bell so you don't miss any of more of my videos. I'm really glad you came by. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I didn't wanna make it over complicated like a lot of YouTubers do. I just wanna know, 99 bucks, 16 bucks, how bad is it, how good is it? It's pretty simple. Oh, yeah, and uh, go out and make something.